Welcome everybody to Vanderbilly. Um, this is a lesson on Neil Young's song, uh, Don't Let It Bring You Down, or Castles Burning. I'd like to dedicate this to my friends David O. and Dr. Rocker. May better times be ahead for you, fellas. <clears throat> the tune is played in double drop D, so you turn your E string down to a D and your high E string down to a D. Okay, I'll play it and then I'll break it down for you. Okay, um, song being in double drop D, uh, you keep this what would be a D taking your f middle finger off, and this is a movable chord, so it goes from the second fret position to the fifth. to the seventh, now I just put my middle finger on the eighth fret of the A string, the seventh fret of the uh, D string, G string is open. So from that, you drop down a half step on the A string, and you press the G string down with your middle finger, and the D is open, and you start the progression over again. 
second to the fifth, to the seventh, now you're going to take your little finger and ring finger and grip down on the fifth fret of the A and E string and then it would be the fourth fret of the G string, third fret of the B string. Slide down a whole step. Now you want to grip down on the E, low E, A, and D. Back to that D position. And then you want to go to the third fret of the <clears throat> A string, second fret of the D string. So you want to go that, walk that uh, A string down from the third to the second while you remove your middle finger off of the D and do it again. So you're just going to the third fret of your low E, which is now a uh, D, and going from the third Press down your second fret of your D string and the third fret of your A string. Second fret of the A string, third fret of the B string. So that's basically the whole song. Um, it's just a, a walking chord here from the D position without your middle finger. From the second fret to the fifth fret to the seventh fret, eighth fret on the A string, seventh fret on the D string. I just took my little finger and put it on the seventh fret of the G string. which is the uh, low E string, A string, 5th fret, the G string, 4th fret, the B string, 3rd fret. You can also depress the high E string and make this chord. So you just hit your harmonics. You start with your 7th fret harmonic. 12th, 7th, 5th. And that's the crest of the whole thing. I hope you like it.